What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We got a whole lot to talk about. CMEs went ahead and closed out their week, and so that's what we're about to dive into. Stick around because these are major implications. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, jumping right into it. Weekly closure looks gnarly. Uh, it looks worse than it really is, though, because we are at least still above the 10 exponential on a weekly basis. And so if we go ahead and close below the 21, that is when I would probably look for further continuation down to probably about the $39,000 region. But as long as we're above the 10, um, this is all good to me still. Even, even with how bad this closure was, it's still fine. Uh, one thing we do need to know here is that we are still in a weekly uh, downtrend. Um, we do not have a reversal on our hands just yet. We have the potential though, that is the big key, seeing as we do have higher highs in this structure, but we do not have higher lows, which is the last ingredient we need for a reversal. And so if we get that move down to about $39,000, maybe even $35,000, uh, I would be looking for a bounce and maybe an attempt to go ahead and put in a higher low. Um, I think that's just about it, though. Not really too crazy just yet. We still need a few, a uh, few more weeks probably, of uh, to to really hash out what we got right here. But not bad at all. Anyways, if we go ahead, drop it down to a daily and head over to spot price action. What do we have? We closed right at the purple 55. Uh, not super good, but. Not bad either. I mean, we are still above this last prior low at around like $44,000 on the closing basis. And so it's not too bad. Yes, we are in a daily downtrend. I am still looking for another high or another bounce, honestly, to go ahead and try and put in a high around like a, a possible high, I guess I should say, around the spot 618. Uh, because we are on lower high watch, we don't quite have all the ingredients of a reversal just yet for Bitcoin either. Uh, we still need a lower high in order to go ahead and confirm a daily downtrend. We just don't have that yet. We only have lower lows. And so it's time to be cautious is all I'm saying. I do think we go ahead and probably move sideways uh, this weekend, probably between about $44,000 and $46,000 for the next few days until CMEs open back up. Excuse me. Uh, Stokes are still nosediving right here, but we should be approaching the bearish control zone probably uh, in the next few days. And so that is a likely uh, turning point for the Stokes. Anything else really? Uh, in the short term, we do have quite a few targets that we'd have to get through in order to get to the spot 618 over at about $50,000 for that lower high watch. Uh, if we go ahead and have a bounce from here, the first area I'd be looking towards probably be the green 21 and the yellow 10 exponential coming in at around like $47,000. If we get a daily candle closure above there, that's when I'd probably start targeting these spots 618 at about at around 50k. But until then, we got a lot of, we got a lot to go. Uh, mind you, we do not have a low confirmed at all throughout this structure, so this is still continuation and it has been for like a week now, you know, like 1 2 3 almost a week. So until we go ahead and close above yesterday's wick high, coming in at around like $47,029, uh, just continuation. That is the name of the game. If we do go ahead and continue lower, my next target would be uh, around like $42,000 to about $41,000. So pretty much right around this wick low and this prior high right around here would be my next uh, look, targeting area, something like that. I'm pretty tired today, guys. I took a nap. Still tired, man. It was a good nap though. Anyways, enough about my nap and my sleeping habits. Um, anything else to really know on Bitcoin? No, I don't think so. If we do get a candle closure, I would want to say below the 200 exponential, I'd probably target about $38,000. Boom. Let's go ahead and drop it down to a four hour, see what we got. Four hour is looking pretty gnarly as well. Um, hmm. How do I want to interpret this? I mean, yeah, looking like continuation, I'm not going to lie. And closing on new lows definitely is not uh, the picture of health and fitness at the moment. If we do want to go ahead and pop up for a bounce, uh, my first target would probably be the green 21 and we'd probably get sold off from that. Probably something similar to this. Uh, it's not looking too good. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really want to call for a major breakage of structure, seeing as it is Saturday. So that's why I'm kind of being a little bit more reserved. The four hours is a little bit harder to read today, I'm not going to lie. But if I have to guess, it's probably going to be sideways. Uh, again, oscillated between that $44,000 and $46,000 region. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that, just because I'm, I'm actually unsure on the four hours. So it is what it is, you know what I mean? 
Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum CMEs on like the three day. Three days also looking fine. Nothing too crazy here. We're still above the 21. Um, let's see. No, can't really be interpreted. I was like, man, could this be a head and shoulders? But no, this isn't really too much of a shoulder right here. And the volume signature doesn't really work out. But I mean, this was a textbook move popping up right around the prior high, getting sold off from everybody that popped that uh bought these highs right here, unloading their bags. It's typical. So what would I be looking for right now? I mean, as long as we're closing above the 10 exponential at around like 3154, I don't really have too much to say on this. If we do close the daily below the 10 exponential, I would be looking for a move down to the 21 at around like $2,861. Uh, CMEs still a little young, but I still like to go ahead and check up on them every now and again to see how they're working um, Let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum itself <clears throat> So we got that move down to the purple 55 and we went ahead and closed below this last load around like $3,200 So that kind of negates everything I was saying these past few days around about how like hey Ethereum was looking pretty darn good and actually having higher lows, but that's a wrap now so name of the game for me right now is probably consolidation consolidation for the next few days between the purple 55 and the green 21, seeing as they're pretty diverged from each other. And, you know, you got to think of these as like, you know, the, your moving averages is like rubber, rubber bands when they get really stretched out. Uh, they're going to need some time to go ahead and come back to come back together. There we go. I was about to say come back apart, but that doesn't make sense. Anyway, so consolidation is what I'm looking for. And if we close below the purple 55, I'd probably target. I think it would be a pretty swift move seeing as volatility is picking up. So I want to go ahead and go for a little bit of a deeper target. I'd probably target the 200 simple, honestly. If anything, the 89 would probably um, work as a short term bounce. But things are starting to really rip. So yeah, it's not looking too hot. Not looking too hot. But again, we still do not have a downtrend. We still need another lower high. Uh, all we have right here is lower lows. So we can't get too aggressive as of yet. But uh, looking for consolidation, Stokes nose diving. So it's tough out here, tough. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's drop it down to a four hour, see if this is uh, looking any better. Four hours looking like it actually kind of wants to bounce right here. And we also have to drive a bullish divergence along the lows. So if we do go ahead and pop up, I'd probably target the 21 and then I'd like to go ahead and see where things are at. Uh, if we close above the 21, I'd probably target the purple 55 and red 89, but I wouldn't expect it to go ahead and get uh, too much further than that on, you know, it's a weekend. And that's probably what you're going to hear this whole video. So brace yourself. But yeah. Um, if we go ahead and continue lower, I target the 377 around like $2,800. And then see from there, honestly. But this isn't looking too hot. Oh, I did want to check out something because I was looking at this like last night the 12 hour is actually pretty uh pretty spot on like if we were looking at this for the last few days uh we would have been able to see this rolling over pretty uh pretty detailed compared to the daily which was looking like a possible bounce around here so just want to go ahead and check that out 12 hours actually pretty spot on and uh still looks like continuation so take that as you will Anyways, let's go ahead and go back up to a daily and look at Telecoin. So we got that closure below the 200 exponential and 200 simple. And so I'm looking for further continuation back down now to about, you know, just above one cent. And we've been talking about this region for some time now. In fact, all throughout this bad boy, uh, I did expect a bit more of a bounce off the 200 simple and 200 exponential, seeing as well, it's kind of carried this market for the last like two months, but not all good things can last forever, you know? So getting that continuation back down there would flip me around to being more bullish. If we go ahead and <clears throat> catch the 200 simple on a daily closing basis, I'd probably look for a bit more of a move to the red 89. Uh, it's really gonna be make or break in that area, I can tell you that, uh, because things could get bearish really quick for Telecoin right here, seeing as your short term, your short term momentum is already starting to pop back down. It's really not gonna take much to get all these moving averages back below the 200 uh, simple and 200 exponential. Let's see, anything else? No, that's really about it for Telecoin, man. It's been one boring coin, but some days it just it just rips. Anyways, if we take a look at Ethereum Classic, whenever it decides to load. Oof, 
yeah, this is this is looking a little bit more rough. So we close below the red 89. I'm now targeting down to the 200 exponential. Um, again, this still isn't too bad for me, seeing as we are still in a macro uptrend, right? We got higher lows, boom, boom, higher highs. And so if we come back down to the 200 exponential, I will be looking for another bounce. Um, I honestly expected more of one from here, but you know, I expected this whole market to bounce like two, three days ago, but it is what it is. Sometimes you're just in sync, sometimes you're out of sync. It is what it is. But yeah, let's see. 200 exponential, still pretty bullish on this because even on the weekly, like it's not too bad. Get below the 21, or not the 10, not the 21, but the 10. <laughs> and uh, we still have about like what two days on this, a day and 17 hours, so a lot can change. We could get that little bit of a bounce back up here. Uh, Stokes are still looking pretty good on a weekly basis, and so I'm really not too stressed out about Telecoin at the moment. But that can definitely switch around if we go ahead and close below the 10 exponential. I will be a little bit more bearish on this if that does occur. I'm not saying, <clears throat> well, go ahead and flip me around to being a little bit more bullish. Uh, if we went ahead and confirmed a candle above the purple 55 at above like $60, um, I would go ahead and switch around to being lo looking for a little bit more of a bounce probably back up Towards about like the 69 70 ish dollar region and then again just lower high watch seeing as well We are in a short-term downtrend on Ethereum classic lower highs and lower lows confirmed. So That's what I got right here um, If you guys got any questions hit me up leave a comment down below um, I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys tomorrow